This is what my Saturday looks like as a software engineer intern working from Hawaii. I started my day by visiting the community center to check out some local events. This is Waikiki Community Center, which is walking distance from Waikiki Beach. As soon as you enter the building, you can see lots of bulletin boards highlighting the special events and classes they offer. Some events included playing Rumi Cube, social painting, and there were classes like Zumba, Lion Dance, Tai Chi, Yoga, Pilates, Tahitian Dance, and even Hula. A lot of them, however, were on hiatus over the summer. I was really impressed by the variety of community classes offered here on a weekly basis. You can see here the weekly activities running through Monday to Saturday. If you ever visit Hawaii, I really recommend checking them out. auditorium which seems to be where most of the classes are held. They had a really nice garden outside as well which is where the garden club is hosted. The garden not only had flowers but also carrots and bell peppers to harvest and take home. After visiting the community center, I went to Ala Moana shopping mall because they have a Barnes and Nobles. I couldn't find any local bookstores near my place, so I went here to read some books instead. It was a huge bookstore with a Starbucks by its side. However, there weren't any spots to sit down and read, and people weren't allowed on the floor either. So I just checked out some stationery instead. They had regional postcards that were very high quality, and I absolutely loved all the designs. Then there was a section for gifts for readers that had all kinds of notebooks, journals, bookmarks, pens, tumblers, and even cute letters. What caught my eye, of course, was the Harry Potter merchandise. They had an entire bookshelf filled with wands, Lego sets, board games, and Death Eater masks. I was so tempted to buy all of them. Then I checked out the classic section since it's one of my favorite genres. I skimmed through Northanger Abbey and considered buying it, but since I had to travel back at the end of summer, I decided it best not to add more luggage. And I completely forgot about this, which is wild because I just borrowed this from my school library, not remembering this exact moment. I dropped by the food court for lunch and was surprised to find hutok, Korean sweet pancakes. Hutok? I was actually craving some good tinmandu, so I got 10 pieces for $10. Uh, and of course, the hot dog as well. After a quick bite, I had dinner plans with a friend in Kakaako, so here I am waiting for the bus outside the shopping mall. This is the view of Ala Moana Regional Park. Kakaako is a very trendy urban neighborhood with colorful street art. They have lots of good eaters as well, including 1938 Endoshin, which is the restaurant my friend and I chose. It serves Southeast Asian dishes and has lots of outdoor seatings, which is one of the many, many things I love about living in Hawaii. I had a great time eating good food under amazing weather, as always. All in all, it was a relaxing day living in Hawaii.